test email APIs. What are they? Well, here's a real world example that shows you why you may want to add test email APIs to your development process. Here I have a Node.js application and a function which sends a lost password link to a user when they forgot their password. But how do we know that this email is working? We could test it manually with our own email address, but this can be cumbersome and we soon run out of real email addresses to test with. So by using a package like MailSlurp Client, we can create real email addresses in our tests and then use them to receive and verify email content. So let's do that now. So if I go to mailslurp.com and sign up for a free account, I'm presented with an email testing dashboard. If I click on API access, I can see some JavaScript code for integrating MailSlurp into my tests. So for this example, let's simply copy this code and then use a test email API to test this function. Okay, so I'm gonna use vtest to test this application. So we'll simply add the package vtest and include the MailSlurp client package so we can create email addresses. Great, in our package.json, we'll add a scripts and add test by test. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the function we wanna test. So the send lost password link receives a two parameter, and then it will send a new email to this address with a link for resetting the password. You can see I'm using node mailer here to connect to a mail server over SMTP, and then the transport layer to send the email. What we wanna do in our test is create a new email address, pass it to this function, and then wait for and receive the email that was received. Then we can assert that the email contains the right link. So let's import vtest now, like so, and then we'll write a test function. Can send email, okay. And then make this asynchronous, like that. Okay, so in this test, we want to call the password reset function. So call password reset. Then we want to receive the email and then assert email contains the correct link. Okay, so to do this, we'll need a new email address to send to. So we can simply call the function, send lost password and pass in an email address. Notice we haven't defined this yet. So before that, let's say two equals, and here we can define a new email address. To do so, we can use the MailSerp client to generate a real email account, and this can receive the email in our test. So if we go back to the app and copy this starter code, now paste it into our application, it includes the import here. We'll move that up, put the import on the top lines, and we can see it's importing MailSerp from the MailSerp client package. Now back in the code, we can see we're creating a new instance of the MailSerp client, passing in our API key, and then creating a new inbox. So we can set two to be inbox.email address. Cool, it's that easy. Let's write a line here saying email sent to, and then put in the email address, and then say waiting for email. Now we need to receive the email. So we can say const email equals mail slurp, wait for latest email. Here we can pass in the inbox.id, a timeout, and I'm gonna say 1200 milliseconds, two minutes, and true for unread only true. That means we'll receive the latest email that arrives within two minutes at this inbox. Put in a wait there. When we run this, MailSuit will hold the connection open and pause our test until the email arrives. This is really useful if you're writing asynchronous tests. The last step is to make an assertion. We can say expect the email dot body to contain, and then when we look at this text, we can say it should contain this link here. Okay, I'm gonna copy that and paste it here. Awesome, let's run this test and see if it works. Waiting for email, and the email has arrived, and our test has passed. Amazing, let's just add a console log here and log out the email itself, so we can see in the test what it really looks like. If I run the test again, we can see it's sent the email, and the email arrives instantly. And we can see here in our console, everything about the email, the raw SMTP, the subject, the body, from sender. So we can make assertions on every aspect of the email within our tests. That's why using a test email API is so powerful for software development and QA testing. I hope you liked that video. For more information, check out mailsurp.com and like and subscribe below to help the channel. Thanks a lot.